This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome to Farm Factor. Up first, Kyle Bauer and Barb Downey talk about her family and the Downey Ranch. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer. I have the opportunity to visit with Barb Downey. Uh, she is the KLA president for 2019. Barb, let's talk just a little bit about your ranching operation, where it is and what it consists of. My husband, Joe Carpenter, and I have a cow-calf operation in Wabunsee in Riley County, Kansas. We raise commercial Angus-based cattle and registered Angus seed stock, have an annual production sale where we sell bulls and, and bred heifers in November of, of each year. Um, we try to take anything that is not seed stock or replacement heifers, and we finish beef through and deliver them through U.S. Premium Beef. Bring up U.S. Premium Beef, uh, you've been a supporter of capturing value for the cow-calf person for a long time, and you do that on your ranch. Absolutely. That's been part of our long-range plan. Uh, you know, our business is a very cyclical one. Uh, sometimes when cow-calf is not very profitable, packing will be, and that balance that being a part owner of U.S. Premium Beef brings to our operation has, has brought stability. It has brought access uh, to, to fed cattle markets, and, and it's made our operation healthier and more focused on our end consumer. Talking again about your operation, your girls now have gotten through high school and, and uh, are into, I guess, a transitional time in their careers and life. Transition is kind of something uh, you want to work toward in your presidency. Right, and as you mentioned, our family has gone through a transition in the last couple of years. We lost my father, and then our daughters are coming out of college in the next couple of years. will enter the workforce, and then hopefully um, one has indicated that she would like to come back home to the operation. And I think that's sometimes something that those of us in production agriculture lose focus of. How do we transition a business from one generation to another that, that has the ability to stay profitable. You know, part of it is the estate planning and the tax planning, but that's only a small fraction of it. How do you transition an operation that is attractive to the next generation that brings them in in a way that the operation can manage and transitions leadership over to them successfully? And talk about transition. Uh, the organization seems to transition well. Membership is very strong in KLA right now. It is. We had near record attend or for the last several years, record attendance. Um, we are up to 5,600 plus members. This year, as NCBA affiliates, KLA members brought over a million dollars to the NCBA efforts on behalf of all of us. These strong organizations are absolutely integral to us. You know, we're out there in the field doing what we do best every day, and we ask of our organizations to carry the water for us in Topeka, in D.C., in the, in the regulatory organizations, and watch our back. We're visiting with Barb Downey. She is the 2019 KLA president. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Kyle. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.